Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007, and today we are looking at the Mob Coins plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to get rewarded for tackling mobs, not only with money, but you can also get mob heads from it. So let's go ahead and show you how it works and what it looks like in game. If I were to hit this zombie in front of me, you can see there's a nice hologram and I got $1.20 from that. It also shows in chat, which is awesome. And then each mob is going to be a different amount, such as this spider for $3. If we hit this little chicken, that will be $1. Come over here and there is a blaze flying around. That's six fifteen, And then there is a creeper over here and that is going to be $5.30. So you can customize all these amounts in the config file and set the percentage for head drops as well. But the last thing I want to show you in game is the forward slash coin mobs command. That's all it is. And that will just reload the config .yml and the data. That is how it looks in game, very straightforward. We're going to jump into the files now and see how we can customize this plugin. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel. You can see there are three YML files. Of course we want to go into the config, that's the main one. Up at the top we've got some sounds that you can turn on and customize, such as when a head gets dropped. We have the hologram that we saw in game, that looks quite nice, so keep that enabled. And then we have the player head drop, so you can enable this and then set the chance of it happening when you kill a player. You can exclude world, so if you don't want this in creative, for example, you can get rid of that. And then here is the cost or the amount of money you will get for each mob. You can see it is a variety. It's going to be the same each time for a spider, for example. And you can just customize this to your liking. Now we have the mob head drops, so you can enable this and you can see a zombie is 100% and has a zombie head texture and then the others are all 90% and then certain ones are zero and don't have the texture added to them so you could do that if you wanted. If we jump into the head names this is just going to list all of the mobs and then basically head afterwards and then the messages is what it's going to look like when you get stuff in chat. And I think that looks quite nice so overall a super easy plugin to use but a really handy one. So here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.21 and if we scroll down it's got some great pictures showing you what it looks like and then we have the three YML files and then just a couple of permissions here too. Make sure if you have this plugin you have these three dependencies and then if you use Essentials X which is what I've got uh, make sure you use 2.20.1 which is what I also use. Uh, for stability. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.